hello everyone welcome to my channel so today we start with a video with how we can renew our VMware license in EVENG right so I have started my video with having uh, the username and the password like you are entering it in the CLI mode right initially so I've just started my video with it so that you can get a clarity that while you enter the password and when you type the command show system interface equation mark and and you are taking the IP address of your browser from DHCP right so so where when you log into your browser it gives you the error that your VM license has expired right so please watch this video till the end so that uh, even after 14 days when you're working on the same firewall when it get expired it could be easier for you to just uh, renew your license and you can continue with uh, the labs be blank new password should be okay so we can able to log into our firewall okay now we first go to show system interface vision mark okay so it will give you our port 1 IP address as 10.133 okay we, we go to our browser and we type here HTTP 192.168.10.133 okay we can get the dashboard not the dashboard the login dashboard okay here you can see it 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 is asking us to so we just click on evaluation we'll type the so when I type my username it gives us the error downloading the license and invalid the license number okay so to 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 resolve this what you should do is you should go to the Fortinet website as support.fortinet.com So we'll we'll just click on login button. So what happened to this is uh, when you download the image from the 14 it will give you a 14 days trial period once you are over with it then your evaluation license will get disconnected and 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 again you you have to you have to add the add the VMA image to it and and it will work as normal okay so I'm just going to show you that only okay so I am just pausing this video while I'm entering my credentials so when you get into it you will see here uh, your uh, this is the dashboard and you will see here the product okay so when you click on the product click on my asset okay so here you will see that this is your uh, your serial number which which is expired right so I just click on it okay when you click on it go to decommission okay by clicking click on continue okay so this has been decommissioned okay now again go to 14 at firewall and enter your credential so while I enter my credential it asks us that updating will need uh, uh, we'll need this to reboot okay so I'll just press on okay okay so my firewall will get rebooted okay you will see here that the license has been upgraded and this will be restart so so this will take some of the time I am just pausing this video till the time it gets completed so you'll see here on my screen that it again uh, asked me this as in the login page 
for you if you're trying first time your 14 days you can it will work as a normal okay so this was the setup but after 14 days you have to upload the, the you have to follow the same step and your 14 it will get uh, uh, will get will, will will be replaced okay so I, I just click on later I pressed ok so I'll show you one thing that you can see here that this is the new serial number which has been provided to me okay you can see here under hostname before it was when you check the last video where we check the installation guide so there you find the different hostname and here it is different okay